Hey folks, welcome to The Restaurant Show. I'm your host, Jessa Jeremiah, and as always, we have a fabulous show you're going to really enjoy. We're joined by Cafe Hollander, the newest place over in Hilldale. You're gonna love it. We're also joined by the Red Zone Sports Bar in downtown Madison and Blow and Smoke Barbecue for those barbecue lovers. It's your guide to the best restaurants in town so you can skip the rest and enjoy the best. We're gonna tell you where to go coming up on The Restaurant Show. This episode of The Restaurant Show brought to you by AccuCline Mechanical Services. Welcome back to The Restaurant Show. We have got a treat for you today. You may recognize this face now. This is Will Borgstrom who joins us from Cafe Hollander, the newly opened restaurant over in Hilldale. And I'm so glad to have you back. How are you? I'm really good. Thanks for having me back. Well, you made a huge mistake. You made way too delicious of food for us last time, and you have now signed yourself up for another segment. It's pretty much the goal. <laughs> <laughs> and you brought beer, which, you know... Yeah, the, beer never hurts. The key to our hearts here, of course. So, today we're going to do something very special. I know you can't uh, smell this at home, but I already smell some wonderful things. Tell us what you're making today. What we're doing is we're starting with Scottish salmon, which is one of the best farm-raised salmon. If uh, the folks are gonna buy salmon, buy wild-caught or Scottish. Okay, uh, wild now wild-caught I've heard. Now what's Scottish? What is Scottish it is, a, it, it's basically very well-raised, farm-raised okay. fish. Um, they have very tight standards and restrictions on how they can harvest the fish and okay, everything. So All right, it's, it's it. at the top of the line. If you can't get wild-caught, then Scottish is and really the way to go. Scottish is it, okay. Mm -hmm. I always learn something here, so that's great. So I've already taken the skin side off, which is this side, mm -hmm. and I've already took the pin bones out. You can ask you know, your fishmonger at whatever store you go to to do all that for you so you don't have to fuss with it. See, that sounds like a good plan. So I'm simply just gonna cut these into equal portions. Mm -hmm. You make it look so easy. Now, how important is it that these are this size? This size is so you, you ensure even cooking okay. through the process. And the main thing is we're gonna stuff it, we're gonna cut a pocket in the top. Oh, so okay. just drag the knife through and just use your thumb a little bit, just to, but you don't wanna cut through. Okay, I can do okay. that. So you go right to the very edge there right. at the bottom. I think you've done this before. This would take me much more oh, concentration. No, it's, it's not than that you. tough. So then I'm gonna put these off to the side. Now we're gonna make the stuffing. Okay. And what, now we're stuffing it with what? We're stuffing it with uh, a Jean Lafitte triple cream brie. Uh, we have our own proprietary uh, cheese that we make it in the restaurant. That's so great. Then we have blue swimming crab, then a little Italian parsley, and a little chopped chive. Beautiful. So I'm going to start with the two cheeses. Okay. And that's brie and? Brie. This is a that triple cream brie. brie. Okay, right. gotcha. And then we have the and herb cheese that we make. This might be a silly non-foodie question of me to ask, but when you cook with brie, that little edging that's on the outside, you mm -hmm. cook it right in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's that's the flavor. I mean, I see a lot of people like nibble around yeah, the, the rind. Know. You really shouldn't eat it that way. Okay. You, you okay. Eat it any way you I want. I don't know but... anyone who does that well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whatever makes you happy. Yeah, you know, there's no right or wrong thing. That. You know, when it comes to food, do what's in your heart. Sure. So. So then I'm gonna add the, we're gonna add the crab very last because you don't want to beat the crab meat up. You want it to have nice chunks oh, okay. so it's present That's in the dish. That's important, I see. And then a little chopped chive. This is beautiful. Hopefully Brennan's getting this. I'm gonna tilt just in case, but look how gorgeous that is, nice bright colors. So I'm just gonna stir this in real quick. You don't have to overwork it. You don't wanna break the okay. cream up or the, the brie up. Sure. So oh, now, okay, so same for the brie. You're not trying to mash it or no, anything. You, just, you want it to have a little Some bit texture. of body. Yeah. So then we just add the cream or the crab and to the mix. And that goes in last, and you just basically you are just mixing it. In, it. Right? Yes. We just fold it in, and that's ready to go. Beautiful. And that's the stuffing. And that's the stuffing. So then I'm going to take the salmon. I always use a glove. Okay. It's easier that way. Your hands get all gummy. So we just push it into the pocket. It's good to have some of it over the top. Mm -hmm. So it comes out like this. Okay, so some's kind of in there, some's out on over right. top. So you're getting a nice healthy portion of that on. I there. think that you know this time of year, eat well, you know. Sure. Hey, and all year, <laughs> eat, all well. year eat well. <laughs> right, but a little bit heavier portion in the winter for me. Yeah. Um, simply because I need the warmth. I need, right? I need I need a little fat cap to keep me warm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I'm, you're allowed. You know, it's around the holiday time. You can you can get away with it. 
stretchy pants works. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> just go to Cat and all, learn their stretchy works. pants, folks. So then, basically, then you take this and you can season it any way you like. Okay. Um, use some nonstick spray. Spray an oven-proof dish. Put it in the oven 10 to 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, don't overbake it because it'll all run out. Oh, and okay. You'll, that's you'll, an important you'll, tip. That's an important tip. And then we what happens? It, it gets like too creamy. It gets too creamy. It it'll just run out. Of, okay, so it's right. no longer stuffed. It's just a a mess. A sauce mess, right? right? Okay. Um, like and the reason why we're doing all this is because when we first came to Madison two months ago, we we have a Friday night fish fry, but yeah. I wanted to give people an alternative. Of let's give them a special insert menu. Yeah. Let's do uh, some baked walleye. Let's do fried walleye. Let's do a stuffed salmon. Let's do mussels and other things that we already do. That's mm -hmm. in, you know part of our DNA of being a Belgian beer cafe right. and just offer that to the guests. So we've started, in essence, some of these items and they're so popular, oh, it's absolutely course. off the chain. Well, you're so right about the Friday night fish fry. I mean, it's kind of a Wisconsin staple, right? Everyone's mm -hmm. been to a Friday night fish fry. You gotta have one if you're a restaurant. But it does, it is nice to have some variety. So this is a twist from the classic and what a great way to go get your Friday night fish fry. I right. love it. So some new options. Right. And that's, this is all available at Cafe Holland Art now. This, this is the finished plate. Through the magic of as you see, our TV as oven As you can see it in our restaurant. Beautiful. What we have is a roasted red bell pepper, uh, polenta. Then wow. we have the stuffed salmon. Then we have a beurre blanc, which is a recipe I shared with you. Mm -hmm. um, don't be afraid to, to make it. It's really super easy. You it just is. follow the instructions. It'll turn out beautifully okay. for you. And it's got great flavor. It's a foolproof one, huh? You say, it depending is. on the person, it, I'm it not is. sure. But tell me, okay, so this is, what, what, say what this is again underneath. Red bell pepper polenta. Red bell pepper polenta. Mm -hmm. Wow, and that's a good compliment, I imagine. It's a good compliment. Wow. You could serve Beautiful. it with roasted potatoes, grilled mm -hmm. asparagus, anything to accentuate the flavor of the salmon and just make yourself a nice healthy meal. That's fantastic. Well, you certainly know what you're doing. Cafe Hollander is open over in Hilldale and uh, you have some restaurants in Milwaukee as well. We do. We have Cafe Benelux in the Third Ward, mm -hmm. uh, Cafe Central down in Bayview, and then we have Cafe Bavaria in the Tosa Village right across the courtyard from another Hollander that we have. Wow. And then we have another Hollander up in Downer Avenue. So not their first rodeo, but uh, a, a really excellent restaurant that I recommend you check out. Brand new, beautiful space. It's gorgeous. A nice big restaurant, nice big bar, great food. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having we me. We appreciate it. Stick around for more Restaurant Show. We'll be back right after the break. After the break, we're going to check in with the Red Zone Sports Bar in downtown Madison. That's next on the Restaurant Show. Welcome back to the Restaurant Show. We are Blessed with Ryan and Raul from the Red Zone joining us once again. Hey guys, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing? Good. I love having you here. I'm so excited. I love seeing what Red Zone's going to do. I'm in the spirit. I got my red on. We're yeah. ready to rock. No time. Uh, I know. I should have been pre-planning every, every time you've been on, but I've got it now. I got this. Um, we're going to do a couple things. So talk to me about the black and blue burger for starters. Okay. Uh, this hamburger with a lot of different flavors on it, a lot of different uh, you know, aspects. First of all, we start uh, with the brioche bun. Uh, you can see here we've already put the lettuce and tomato down. Uh, our eight ounce burger on top yeah. of that. Next thing, Raul is going to throw a little bit of Can I show off uh, this burger season. first really quick, yeah. Raul? Look at that burger patty. That is a burger for a hungry person. I love that. Okay, thank you. Because I'm love. i a big burger fan, so love that. Okay, I'm sorry. What are you so throwing down? Blackened seasoning. Okay. Uh, give it that. Then we've got blue cheese dressing. Oh. And then gonna throw Yum. some blue cheese crumbles on it because oh, we're in you Wisconsin. Both. Not enough. Thank you. Not enough cheese. We appreciate that. You and get then, your blue cheese. Uh, top it off with a little more blackened seasoning and give it a little more flavor. And we've got the top of the brioche bun. That's just right fun to there. say too. You got a brioche bun oh, yeah. on your black and blue burger. There's a lot of bees there. Yeah. Um, very cool. That looks just outstanding. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, I love that. Um, so tell me where you get the hamburger from. Um, we recently switched to go through UW Provisions, so all the meat is from Wisconsin, Dane County. Uh, everything's local. You know, okay. it's great to support local companies, yeah. have people tied in from the from the community, and, and work like that. Now, is there anything that's really cool? We love that you do doing the local thing because um, you know we love that here in Madison. And um, what makes this unique? I mean, there's some obvious things that maybe make it stand out. I mean, just out. the 
wide variety of flavors. Yeah. Not to mention the blue cheese dressing, uh, Raul makes uh, himself. Awesome. Um, and so it's going to be a little different than anything you can get anywhere else. And like I said, the blackened seasoning, the blue cheese, and, and the burger itself, when you put those together, it just it, it creates great, great taste yeah. profile and, and a wide variety of flavors. And we've got our double blue cheese. Thank you. We love that. So great job on the sauce roll. That's great. Um, so we'll put this here, give her a little spin because she's a beauty. And um, what are, you've got Red Zone Club. Let's talk about this. Okay, this is a club sandwich. We're going to go with pita bread today. Uh, okay. A little different than anyone else. Uh, first thing, once you have the pita bread, we're going to put a little mayo on it. Um, can't have a dry sandwich. No, no wants I totally a dry sandwich. agree. No, I'm a, can a condiment lover, so uh, please too. load it up. Me yep. too. Uh, next thing that's going to go on is some cheddar cheese here okay. from Raul, lettuce, tomato. No sandwich is complete without some cheese on there. Oh yeah, you're in the wrong state if you don't want that's cheese. That's correct. I completely agree with that statement. Okay. Look at that big, nice green lettuce you have. After that, we're going to go with some uh, deli sliced turkey uh -huh. and ham. This and is the best looking club I think I've ever top seen. Top it off with some apple with smoked bacon. Mm -hmm. uh, not, and uh, flip it over, cut it up. Beautiful. And Look at that! That's a big club sandwich oh, right yeah. there. I have not ordered this yet. This is on my list now of things I need to order. I love that. Okay. Gorgeous. Oh, you do it in fours. How cute. So yeah. it's manageable. Yeah. I like that. So something you can, you can get yourself, something you can share, something yeah. that uh, is going to be uh, a nice sandwich and fill you up and Gorgeous. just give you a Look at you got it all perfectly stacked. That's a great sandwich. I love that. Now, um, mm -hmm. I like the bread that you used. Is there yeah. other breads that you do this? Yeah, on I mean, we too? can do it with your traditional white bread, wheat bread, uh, rye bread. But uh, you know, this one makes it a little different. I love yeah. the pita bread myself. You know, it you does. get a nice little light toast on it, and it gets uh, gets tasting very good. Yeah, it's just unique too. So um, you know, like I said, I haven't ordered this one yet. But do you do other deli sandwiches too? Yeah, we, we'll do just plain sandwiches uh, with different meats. You know, as, as I said, we got ham and turkey okay. there. We do have roast beef. For some specials, we'll bring in other meats such as pastrami, and, and we'll really try to do something a little different that, that gets that sort of flavor. Yeah, I like how you try and do something you know, unique, kind of a little red zone twist to some of your classics, mm -hmm. which is really nice. Um, let's talk really quick about some other things at Red Zone. I'll put this over here. We can show it off with that delicious looking burger. And um, I've had your burgers before. They're outstanding, although I don't know that I've had the new uh, burger patties, but this is on my list too. So I got a couple things. I gotta okay. come by and see okay. you guys. Get your fed. But um, private parties and events, can we talk about that? You yeah. Some things? Um, you know, we do have, uh, our normal side where we can we set aside some stuff and then we also have the concert venue side where yeah. we can book groups up to uh, 325 okay. um, and we can do a wide variety of things and, and, and do you know buffet lines some banquet seating some uh, you know we can put bands together if you want to do that oh, great. Uh, just all sorts of different events we've worked with some charities we've worked with some student groups and uh, you know it's looking to do stuff like that rather than just concerts in that area. Yeah, and you guys have a big place, so up to 325, that's 325 on, people. On, on the secondary side, yes, on and the then our normal side, side is uh, 300 as well. Wow, you guys really can fit a lot of folks in oh, there. Yeah. That's cool, yeah, I love your space. And I noticed, I don't want to embarrass you or anything, but the two of you have some new gear on, it looks like. Yep, Raul is sporting uh, some, one of the new polos we have. We have them in a, a, a red and black and a, a darker shade of gray with red where that is. Uh, got a couple new hats, as you can yeah. see, all sorts of new stuff. This so. one's cool. You can see a little, like, it's like Heather. Yeah, yep, That's and it's cool. got that. And then, if you don't mind my hair on the back side, yeah. it's got uh, oh, a little red another, zone. another Red Zone logo, and oh, it's okay. fitted, whereas Raul's is, is not quite a fitted hat. Um, you know, we've got a wide variety of new apparel to come down and, and really support the Red Zone yeah. and uh, get some new cool clothing. That's very cool. Well, we appreciate it. I got my Red Zone pen here that oh, yeah. um, I'm going to be taking some notes with. Pretty excited about it. But no, you guys look great. The new apparel looks good. Um, these sandwiches are amazing. So, can we get these lunch, dinner? Anytime you want, yeah. Anytime. 11 a.m. we start serving food until uh, kitchen closed down about midnight. Okay, so kind of late too if we want to come in and grab a late bite. and. Uh, we've got all kinds of stuff going on. Come watch the game. Yep. Um, all that stuff. We're losing our sandwich. <laughs> that's how tall it is. But uh, that's okay. It knows that we're out of time. That's what happened there, I think. But uh, we'll have you guys back. Thank all you right. so much for joining us again. Ryan and Raul from the Red Zone. Go see them. And you stay right there. We'll be back with more Restaurant Show after this. 
you love barbecue, you're gonna to wanna to stick around for our next guest, Blow and Smoke Barbecue. We'll be right back. Hey folks, welcome back to the restaurant show. We are gonna be talking barbecue right now and we have got the king of barbecue right here joining us. This is Robert Bishop. He's the owner of Blow and Smoke Barbecue. You guys are out in Wanakee. Yes, ma'am. And we're so glad to have you back. So now you're a restaurant show pro and uh, tell us what you're gonna do for us today. Well, what we're gonna do first is uh, one of our specialty sandwiches. It's called the Three Little Pigs. I love this name. How cute is that? It's uh, pork, ham, and bacon with okay. Swiss cheese. So this is the, why the name, right? Because yes. you've got yep. three little pigs you betcha. Right, going right in. Yep. I love it. So we do our Swiss, fresh crisp bacon. Yeah, we have to pause on this bacon for a moment. Look at this bacon. I thought this was like a prop. You make the most perfect looking bacon. Well, thank you. So can you share your secret? Yep, you just put it on a sheet pan. That's it. Cookie sheet and anything like that will work fine. Yep. And it comes out picture nice. perfect. Yep. I yep. mean, this is like magazine photography bacon. <laughs> I love it. It's perfect. Meant it to be like that. That's right. Just perfect. So anyway, then we do some ham, uh, smoked ham that we do. Okay. Then we put our eight hour smoked pork on top. Oh my gosh. You smoke this pork for eight yes. hours. Yes, you, you have to. So do I need to order eight hours in advance? One day in advance if you'd like something. <laughs> I love it. That's great. Then we make a chipotle mayo, which is just delicious on this sandwich. Oh, chipotle mayonnaise. Chipotle mayo, yes. So you mix nice... in, you make that yourself? Yep. And you mix we... it right into the mayonnaise? Yes, yes. And gives it just a nice little zing for the sandwich. Love it. I'm a mayonnaise lover. You want to add I a little mayo flavor too. to it, and yep. we're in good shape. A little garnish here, and we're serving this up with french fries Look for the this. month of January. What is that? Kringle? Is that Kringle cut? Is that what Kringle. you call that? Kringle cut Kringle. fries, yep. <laughs> Maybe I was just feeling the holiday spirit. <laughs> Kringle. Yep, Kringle fries. <laughs> Chris Kringle. Actually, I need to buy some Kringle for Christmas, so. There you go. <laughs> See? So you got your Kringle cut fries, yep. and it looks beautiful. And that's our three little pigs. Can I just say I'm so impressed at your speed of work here too. You have not, this is not your first Three Little Pig. No. Uh -uh. The, the thing so. is, you know, all the stuff takes hours to cook. Right. So when you come in, you're ready to eat, you're starving. Just minutes, all we do is compose the sandwich. I love it. Boom, there it goes. So eight hours of marinating and At cooking. At least eight and... hours of cooking, a whole day oh of marinating. My God. Wow, so, that's impressive. If this you want the good stuff, that's what you so gotta do. Good. Okay, and look at this sandwich. I mean, this is like a, you know, you need you need it open wide for that sandwich. That's a big, big kid sandwich. That's one of everybody's favorites right there. I bet it is. Um, are you gonna do some, what else are we talking about we're gonna today? Do, oh. We're gonna do our new sandwich. We've got a, okay. a mustard Carolina. Yes. And we serve that on a pretzel bun. We don't bake these off, we have to Ooh. just buy these. But they're pretzel just delicious, bun. yes. That adds a little twist. So you get your, we take our, the same pork, mm -hmm. toss it in our mustard sauce. Oh my gosh, this is another favorite of mine. I just like any sauce, really, let's just be honest, but I do love mustard as well. Now, this is not your typical yellow mustard. This is something different. This is uh, this is similar to our ketchup-based sauce, but it has a little bit more zing. Okay. And a just a, actually a whole different flavor, but it's kind of similar. And now, this is called Mustard Carolina. What's right. the Carolina about? Well, in the Carol, down in like North Carolina, they have mm -hmm. a... Uh, item that they put in a cup, okay. pork, slaw, and then our sauce. So we do the Kansas oh. City Carolina, it's on a bun with a slaw on top of the sandwich. I gotcha. Okay, so this is your twist on that exactly. dish. And it's, this side. sounds okay. so strange, but it is so delicious. Oh my gosh, and then you right put the top, coleslaw right in right there. Right on top of the sandwich, yep. Now that is genius. I like that idea. And it sounds weird, but it is delish. You know what, though? Sometimes the strangest sounding combinations taste the mo the best. Right. You gotta order it once, right? And then you yep. go from there. And, and how cute is your little garnish? Well, you, got, you gotta have a little pickle. Gotta, gotta have, have a, have a pickle, pickle with barbecue. But I've never seen someone use it as like this cute little topper. I love, I'm enjoying that. Well, I like to try to be original. Yeah. Well, outside you, of the box. You've nailed it. Well, smokes outside the box. Though. So this is fabulous. Um, the, one of the coolest things that I just actually learned today is not only do you have this fabulous restaurant that you can come eat and get these really unique and delicious dishes, but you actually cater. We do cater. So you do some catering, which is really cool. So you can cater an event, um, large, small. Yep, we do anywhere. No party's too small. We do up to 2,000 people. Wow. We've got a huge smoker, holds about 500 pounds of meat. Yeah. Um, we do, we've done the Parade of Homes out there in Wanakee for the last oh. four years, and that's around 1,500 people. But we do Whoa. a lot of weddings, believe it or not. I mean, we serve all the sauces on the side, uh -huh. so it's oh, not a mess good. for, you know, the bridal. 
the white that's dress. That's a really you know, good point, also, yes. But also it's good because people like different things. Yeah. So that a lot of people can, don't even want sauce. You, you know, I don't so. know any of those people, but I'm <laughs> sure they're out there. Um, so that's great. So you can cater. Now the other thing I wanted to ask you about is we are, the new year is upon us, folks, whether you have your resolution in place or not, it's coming for you. Uh, but you're doing something kind of neat for New Year's. We're going to do, for New Year's, we're going to do a uh, New Year's Eve night, we're going to do an apple smoked prime rib, Ooh, along with a uh, jumbo yeah. shrimp skewer, uh -huh. with a teriyaki barbecue, um, Brussels sprouts, uh, cheesy potatoes. Oh my gosh. And we're going to do a uh, caramel fudge brownie. Okay, well then, you had me way before the brownie, <laughs> but that was it, that you, now I'm there. So that's a, that's our uh, New Year's special. Okay. Anytime during New Year's Day. Five, five to close. Five, five to close. To, and we're only open till nine, so New Year's Day. Come and grab okay. your dinner and head out to the. That's a great way. Hotel. Yeah. Fill up on some barbecue and then go have some fun or whatever you're gonna do to ring right. the New Year. That's so right. I absolutely love it. I think it's great. Um, so folks out there in Wanaki, say the name of the road. Montadon. It's, Montadon. It's French, I guess. So. Montadon Avenue out in Wanaki. Right off of 113 in Arboretum. Oh, okay. Perfect. So a little, little bit of a landmark for you. Um, these guys do great, some great specials throughout the year, right? Occasionally oh, yeah. things come yep. up. Yep. So we'll, we'll stick to the New Year's for now because I think that's the most relevant New Year's Day. But some fabulous sandwiches. Eight hours of smoking yep. this pulled 10 to pork. 12 for the beef brisket. <sighs> that's incredible. And if you ever want to take a picture of some bacon and, and have it all set for your <laughs> magazine photo, this is the bacon. I love it. Well, thank you so much for sharing thank all this you. great stuff with us. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna remind people what these are. The Three Little Pigs, if you wanna order that one, and the Mustard Carolina, if you want a little taste of the South. So, with a Midwest twist, of course. And we'll do some, we'll do monthly specials throughout the year, so, That's for different great. sandwiches. And we'll always come up with new sandwiches because I get a little bored. And, yeah, you go. You yeah, got the creator so, right yep, here on the show. Like this the, is Robert Bishop, owner of Blow and Smoke Barbecue in Wanaki. We gotta go. We'll be right back with more restaurant show after the break. Thank you so much for tuning into the restaurant show today. I had so much fun checking out all these great local spots. I'm Jessa Jeremiah reminding you that life is too short to eat average. of the restaurant show brought to you by AccuCline Mechanical Services.